I'm Christina Howarn in Palgrave, just north of Bolton, Ontario, where the brazen theft of a wheelchair ramp actually jeopardized the operations of a vital day program for adults with special needs. I'm sick to my stomach because my son requires the, the ramp to get in and out of the program. Um, individuals that even aren't in wheelchairs still require the ramp because they aren't able to do stairs. The White Birch Day Program serves adults with developmental disabilities in Peel and Dufferin. Students do crafts, go on outings and have a chance to interact with other adults. But repairs to the main ramp meant that a temporary one had to be used instead. And it was basically just six feet long, folded up with a black um, rough substance on the front for some grip and um, yeah, we just had it set up there with some wood to get them in the next the next day. But the next morning, it was nowhere to be found. When we found out it was stolen, we had the staff right at the end of the day put up a big banner right at the front of the building so people can see it here on Highway 50, just saying, please return our stolen wheelchair ramp. We were hoping that we can uh, guilt or convince the person that took it to bring it back to the property. It didn't work. The $1,200 ramp is still missing. I'm not going to lie. We, we took it for granted that we are in a small town and we had it we had it set up out there because, like I said, we just wanted to make sure when the first wheelchair got here that everything was ready to go in the morning. I'm surprised that it would go missing from here. Um, I, you know, I don't know why somebody would need it. It affected everyone here in so many ways um, because it's their accessibility to a program that gives them a meaning, gives them quality of life, gives them freedom to be young adults. The thieves may not have heard White Birch's pleas, but the community did. I set up a little GoFundMe page and um, within Within the next day, the money for the ramp was, was, was there. And while White Birch has actually exceeded its fundraising goal, they are still accepting donations so that they can make other parts of their program and this facility wheelchair accessible. You can find a link to their GoFundMe page at citynews.ca. In Paul Grave, Christina Howard, City News.